Yeah. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Um, it all depends on where you're watching this tutorial from. And Happy New Year to you. Yeah, my name remains Modi Collins. I'm sorry I have not really done a video in a long while. I've been quite busy. So today I'm going to be um, showing you around on how to size your conversion reactor. Actually, this is a high um, hydrogen desulfurization unit. All right. So here you have um, you have your oil. You have your oil with um, teophene and dibenzotiophene, okay, and um, disulfides that needs to be removed by reacting it with hydrogen. All right. If you've watched my previous videos, you'd have seen how reaction is being carried out with aspen hysis. So I've actually done my reaction set. If you look at it, these are the various reactions that we have there. So I would advise you go back to um the video tutorial on conversion reactor and that will show you how to carry out a um, reaction with a conversion reactor so but our focus today is to deal with sizing of a reactor that is when you have learned how to model a reactor so our advice you go back to our advice you go back to the previous video on conversion reactor to learn how to carry out conversion reactor then after that you can come back to this video to learn how to size it okay so this reaction has been carried out and we have hydrogen we have um, oil both mixed and um, one thing you should always check always check the feed the feed to the reactor before you can properly size your reactor with aspirin hyacinth you need to have a mist phase both vapor and liquid phase right so the phase of your feed stream to the reactor has to be a mist phase okay that's one thing you must ensure so that is for that so this reaction has been carried out as you can see we have the reaction carried out and we have um, if you check uh composition you're going to see your h2s which is one of the things that was um where is our h2s hydrogen sulfide okay so um the bottom you're going to see we have about uh, at, at the top we have about zero about 1.62 percent so how about 0.83 percent at the bottom okay and um the teophene that benzoyl teophene we are all reduced drastically okay so that's for that so having done all this reaction having carried out everything so we need to size this this crv 100 so we'll come to equipment sizing click on equipment sizing uh click on add select vessel sizing then select separator all right so we'll select what uh crv 100 i'll click ok so it will size the reactor now you can actually check the sizing so here you will see the ld ratio you will see the residence time you have the demister to top with about 0 0.3 3048 then also you go to if you go to performance you see the diameter of the reactor which is 2.743 you see the total length which is 9.601 you see the ld ratio maximum allowable vapor velocity which is 0 0.1445 you have the demister thickness liquid residence time you have a liquid surge height you also have your llsd and um, you have your um, liquid residence time at llsd um, in seconds then if you go to the vapor space you also have to the sum to inlet nozzle you have the inlet nozzle to that um the mister and all of that everything will be calculated by aspen hysis for you then if you check the construction it will tell you the chemical engineering index it will show you the material type which is carbon steel to show you the mass density to show you the fmc allowable stress the um, shell thickness everything everything we calculated it comes to costing to give you the base cost coefficients and also give you the um uh, a predicted costing results that the base cost there will be ladders and platform the cost of the ladders and platform and the total cost in us dollar so basically this is how to size um your conversion reactor so we have actually sized this conversion reactor and if you want to send this to um so oem so from here you can develop your your data sheet for the 
um, for your reactor and um, that's how to go about it all right thank you very much for your time i really appreciate it and i will try as much as possible to bring in more new videos on this channel on aspen heists but i also advise you go back to the old videos go through them learn a lot from them especially from the basis because that's the only way you can understand this part very well so once again thank you for your time